So first trimester, maybe second trimester, you have been struggling with some nausea and trying to keep your electrolytes balance and build that hydration you need for pregnancy. So let's talk through a few of these supplements that can help you during this time. First off, um, we could start with just understanding that our prenatal vitamins can differ in how easy they are to absorb. I like capsules. I like these functional medicine brands because the ease of absorption. Um, but so you might want to either do a gummy, like My Kind Organics has a gummy, or, or Smarty Pants, or a capsule based prenatal. Secondly, we want to stay hydrated and to keep our body in a nice alkaline state. Lemons are great. They also break down a little bit of that mucus and adding some electrolytes. I like trace mineral drops. It usually just takes a few drops to make your water have some electrolytes and that helps the water to not be as heavy in your stomach and it absorbs into the cells um, of your body a little bit better. And um, I can also suggest things like dandelion to keep the bile gallbladder and it supports detox. And I do believe it is safe in pregnancy. Um, I don't have any concerns about it. None, a lot of this stuff is not gonna be labeled uh, for pregnancy, but um, dandelion root tea, or these are some capsules is something that might help to keep that bile moving. HCG pregnancy hormone makes that bile really kind of build up and can be a problem. If you eat legumes, it can absorb some of that bile and move it through, or hummus is another option. When it comes to supporting the liver and its role in nausea, milk thistle is safe to take. So that's about 150 milligrams, which is usually in a capsule. Um, this is Jero brand, so I don't think brand matters so much for these because um, it should be a nice, just an herbal. So you could take that every day to help support that, particularly if you notice that nausea is lingering into the second trimester. Um, you might want to support the liver gallbladder function and keeping that bile down. Um, one of the classic um, things we do is um, use things like ginger and peppermint. This also has lemon balm. So this is Vitanica, one of my favorite brands. It's called Nausea Ease and it has vitamin C, K, B6, which is a perox peroxyl 5 phosphate. We need that P5P for nausea because that B6 form seems to be more helpful with nausea. So you're getting 38 milligrams in one capsule um, and normally we're suggesting 25. Going higher is great. So I love that this is a combination of those vitamins, ginger, root, and extract, peppermint, and lemon balm. And um, then you've got, oh, I have some stevia. If coming back to trying to get more water in you, if you need a I would say two drops of stevia, a little bit of lemon, and three or five drops of mineral can help you um, get that down. Oh, and lastly, what I've got here to show you is digestive enzymes. So things are really slow in that gut, and that is just, we call the dead gut. Things are sitting there. So if we can get what you eat to break down and move on through easier, then you're less likely to feel as nauseous. By taking digestive enzymes with the food when you eat, you're going to break it down a little bit better so you can move it through. This is um, Claire. These are tiny little capsules, so it's not a big enzyme. It might work well with you. Um, you could do double up on the enzymes too. So those are a couple of the things I have on hand to show you. My full script protocol has links to some other things. For nausea, you can try multiple things and try to target all the different reasons that you would have nausea. And don't feel discouraged. Don't get stuck in a rut. Get things going. 
get things on board, keep the body moving and eliminating and that gut moving, and hopefully you'll get past this nausea period.